Yep, this is the start of a lot more boxes to go. We're vlogging this whole damn move. You hear me? This is the current state of what the apartment looks like. A little messy, but I can tell you there's a lot of stuff still here, so I'm curious to see what it's gonna look like two weeks from now. I won't ever be caught lacking with my phone down there. The Blazonary Drop Stops and Blazonary.com, you already know. So we got a bunch of boxes. Starting to put away the stuff that belonged in these cabinets in my living room. I'm just kind of reminiscing some of the items. Like I'm a huge fan of Monopoly. These collectibles basically, like board game, video game collectibles. Hoping to give them a really good new home in my video game room slash den. So I'm just putting them all in boxes, you know, and it just feels good. It feels good to see it all, like not shoved in these little cabinets. I'll have bigger rooms. It's an improvement, and so I'm super blessed to be in this position. Like instead of having them in a living room, I'll have them in a den room. For the Pokemon channel, guys, I'm so excited to continue making videos for that. Like I just started uploading again on it. My grandpa Kenny drew these pictures. He drew a pigeon, because pigeon's one of my favorite animals. I've said this before. He found this really cool book, plus 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 religion book. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But somebody oh, okay. gave this to me at a sneaker con. Here, let's get my maraca picture frame. <laughs> All bubble wrapped up nicely. Well, it's time just to pack them up. I love how with my plaques, this is like the old way YouTube used to do it with the button and the gray background, and then they started making these. So it's like I have a piece of history, like old YouTube and new YouTube. I think it's really cool. That's awesome. So it's about one in the morning and I'm recording some B-roll. So it's pretty odd to be saying goodbye to the hype room because I just have been so familiar with this atmosphere for the last two years. And now it's gonna be completely rearranged, completely different, and I'm just so excited to see the changes that are about to happen. And I really learned how to use these colored lights, which is really crazy, because the dynamic that they add to filming is now just like, whoa. Oh, and wait, beautiful chain right there. Look at this thing, ready? Okay, hold up, I'm gonna just move it. Okay, you see how it's purple? Wait, 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 now it's clear and what? Oh my goodness. The stones are white and now the stones are purple. How does that work? It's special patented technology from my homie Jacob. We're gonna be releasing these on Black Friday, so stay tuned to blazonary.com and the Blazonary Instagram. You guys will see all the information posted about these on there. It's a little early right now, but I figured might as well show it off. It's sick, it's made of real silver and the price of silver has gone up, so. Mm. This right here says my name. Plus, plus, plus. How insane is that? Taking down the games right now. And look at this, my N64 collection. These were my originals, originally owned games. You know, collecting old video games has been a hobby of mine for a really long time now. So, as you all know of the NES, the entertainment system, um, so you got this little startup screen. Who would ever think it's gonna be this? Like I really like the original NES games. So if you guys wanna see some gaming content, I'll leave a link in the description below to my gaming channel, which you guys will also see. There's a Pokemon channel link down there too. So in my new house, the plan is to have like a room or like a den or something where it's like old video games, Pokemon, as well as all my consoles, which I still have to go ahead and pack as well. Over the years when you just accumulate junk, I'm going through under my bed stuff right now and like, I mean, I got fidget spinners. 
gotta be worth something, right? You know, I'm going through, I'm finding like my old childhood yo-yos. This one's actually fire, the dark magic. Did y'all know your boy could yo-yo? This ain't no joke. Oh, uh-oh, the string broke. Let's see if I can make a new one. All right, check this out, y'all. Boom, bell tower. All right, well, it'd work if my string was longer. You know, granted, there's some cool stuff over here. Like, this is, like, the box that my chain came in, the Aviani box. This is my Rolex box. What's cool about this is my Rolex is vintage. I'm not sure if you guys knew that. And the box that it came in, hella clean. Look, this is my old Hollister cologne. <laughs> and did I tell you guys I was into magic? Like, very heavily. These are all decks of cards. This deck right here is actually my favorite deck. Rocking the, what is that, Tommy Hilfiger? This is like my childhood safe, kind of like where I keep a lot of my old memorabilia from when I was like 10, 11 years old. Got some pretty nifty belongings, like when I took my brother to his first ever Giants game. This was my old golfing license in New York. That was my limited learner permit. <laughs> Yo, did y'all know I have like a very extensive stamp collection too? Finding some hand sanitizer was a pretty clutch move. All this to clean up now. All right, I'm cleaning up the gaming shelf and I just had to say real quick, I mean, this is just like so fire. Why don't game companies do things like this anymore with the development of, you know, new games, special cases like this? This is, this is insane. The Halo 2 Xbox, the best PlayStation 2 game of all time right here. All the GTAs right here. Packing wise, honestly, I've been getting quite a bit done. The living room is getting more and more filled up. Hello, beautiful BMW. Damn, it's pouring out and I'm wearing a fresh ass fit for some pics. We just picked up all the new merch. Okay, well check this out, y'all. I told y'all the Blazonary crewnecks will be coming back. I know you guys have seen these right here, the Blazonary going down it for back to school. All right, guys, and then we got a couple more things. Right here we got an original. This one used to come out back in 2016, the classic logo. We got the new Blazonary tags right here. Sheesh. I plan in New York to film the grocery runs, but here in the Cacalax, there's not much going on in the groceries. That's really it. Ooh, the beaver sounds beautiful. Yo, check out what Lauren just made. Hold on. I've been asking her for so long these, if we could please do a Pokemon video. These, these are fire. That's what we're about to do. And you like the, Can you I like try the one? No, 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 they're brand new. They're brand new. Please don't try them on. Yeah, please don't. Please don't try these on. The value will decrease so hard. So I'm just taking apart my closet right now. About to pull down some of my favorite jackets. Yo, this one's gonna be amazing to wear in New York. I've got a lot of clothes I've been saving for like New York only. This is definitely one of them. This is actually. My first, this was actually my first ever designer backpack, but uh, it's just, you know, come a long way from just the solid standard MCM backpack. I know some of y'all are in this position with your ba MCM backpack and you know, you wanna work your way up. Just don't stop hustling, you're already here. Keep grinding, that's kind of the mentality I had and now I'm packing up a whole wall full of bags. This right here is actually the first Gucci Messenger I ever bought myself. So I think I paid like 700 for it in 2017. I remember this was a crazy day. It was the same day of my birthday pop-up in New York as well. And uh, it was very spacious. So after a couple hours of sorting, we managed to finally get the closet clear. All of this stuff. All these sneaker boxes have the sneakers in them. There's some stuff I've been keeping brand new for some time and I'll finally be wearing it, unveiling it. Let's go over what I've been keeping on the low. Yo, so we got the plums right here. Kobe Barcelona pack, so I have these. And then the yellow colorway right here, the Entourage. These are the Cheech and Chong Nike SB Dunk. I performed a custom on them. The prices have shot up. These right here are a huge throwback for me. These were like the first pair of Jordans that I bought myself. The SC ones, baby. 2013, what a time. What is that, Air Jordan 3? 
Yeah, it is on the bottom of that. And shout out to the SneakerCon legit app holding me down. Y'all already know. All right, well, now we're going to be packing up the coffee table. Let's get it. And then y'all know the entire camera shelf right here. I'm eager to see how I, uh, you know, I'm going to attempt to set this up in the new place because there isn't exactly a nook that comes, you know, pre-built with the place. I'm probably going to build some sort of similar shelving system. I'm just not sure where it's going to go, whether it's on the first floor or the top floor, who knows. New York has always been the goal. That's why I got it right next to the camera stuff because the only way I could have made it happen is if I'm pursuing my dreams using the cameras the way they should be used and look at that y'all we made it oh yeah it looks absolutely crazy messy in here but the GoPro is a super view so you're getting to see the full scope of things but this right here is my Polaroid shelf I take a lot of pride in it I've been collecting Polaroids for now maybe three or so years that's a really cool memory right there and well guys it looks like the time has come. The hype room is one of the last areas in the entire apartment to get packed. I need to go to the store and get bubble wrap, so I'll do that right after this clip. The Supreme shelf is about to have a brand new home. This, I don't know where the hell I'm gonna put it, but it's gonna get redone and the items are all gonna be different, of course. And it's just gonna be exciting, you know, new change of space and everything. You know, I got all my Pokemon stuff and everything. I'd like to have its own room for that. You know, I got a couch in here, TV, some boards, and don't forget, guys, my new place, I'm gonna have an entire room for a closet. This is gonna be a lot better of a storage space. I mean, there's just so many shoes. Here's what one shelf of Supreme looks like. Not too bad. So that's about a small box right there. Now that's a lot of keychains. All right, y'all, let's do a little progress update. Oh man, yeah. We got a ton done now, so just about, I would say at least 70% of the apartment is completely packed up at this point. I mean, this is how I'm kind of filming the rest of the hype room. Just got the moving truck, so we're about to head there and load up the storage unit. I know you guys love the storage unit because I've been keeping so much there. Every time I buy a lot of stuff, I'll just go bring it to the storage unit because all about the long-term value. And we're gonna explore what some of those things have done over time, get my trusty what does on because this is the ultimate moving shoe the squadron is heading out we got the truck right here as you guys can see we've been holding so many pairs of sneakers in these boxes now for i'd say good what two years something like that two three years, two, three years. we got crates from collaborations that i'm going to be able to set up sneakers and pairs oh this is actually a lot of boxes shoes and stuff okay these, travis scott Huge dent, can't wait to unbox it all. Y'all ain't even seen some of these, I can promise you that. Well, it was fun, storage unit. Thank you very much for being my storage unit. It was a pleasure. Now, let's get the hell out of here. One day until the move. Guys, it's pretty slim around here. We're getting the last bits of the closet. Look at all that stuff right there that has just been sitting underneath the clothing all this dead stock supreme and just look at all this guys i mean all these sneakers pack the rest of it up shout out the blazing bear shout out the blazing fam best gang on the youtube plus 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 gang check out these blazing airs. so sick this right here is a sneaker heads worst nightmare back to packing tomorrow we leave on the truck and you know that's that goodbye north carolina this is the final clip i'll be doing in the apartment with Leo, Lauren, and my mom. I mean, this is the space, guys. Like, I've never really like opened the windows or anything on camera, just, you know, privacy is everything. But I gotta say, I had, I think, one of the coolest views in Burkdale. Two moving trucks have been completely filled up. What a day. And we are back on the road. We are less than 30 minutes away. Look at that, that's the city. 
Angel has been an angel. She really has. Thankfully. Yesterday we had a little bit of a poop incident. <laughs> and throw up and piss. Well, we just got to the place. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't wait to see the They tour. literally just stepped in yeah. right now. So we're about to give a little reaction tour. The day I got there was super chaotic and hectic, but I basically gave my parents a little tour of my four floor house. It has a basement, a first level, a second level, which you guys see right now, and a third level up top. I don't wanna reveal too much, especially since it's not furnished and we're still working on it. We're super excited to show you guys the progress of the house through the vlogs. And not only did we just get everything else, look what made it! Let's go! And there's the trailer. Let's go! Are you one? Are you two? Are you three? Are you four? It's got some good light in here at nighttime. Whole bunch of progress done in the basement and you already know guys how to hook up the movers with some of the merch so if you guys need movers be sure to hit them up right here just i'm gonna do them a little solid right there those guys are solid themselves man look at that that's the end of the truck there were two trucks completely full this is the end of the second truck now y'all we're done yeah it's 136 we're done <laughs> 